Welcome and welcome back to my channel guys, Raquel Annette here. If this is your very first time ever clicking on one of my videos, thank you so much for actually clicking on the video. You're very welcome in. I do lifestyle videos, I do makeup tutorials, vlogs, all that jazz. But today we're going to be focused on my spring and summer scents for 2021. So I just completed my first perfume tray or fragrance tray, whatever you want to call it. And I was a little excited and I was like, should I just do my entire collection? But it's seemingly not my entire collection because I'm going to be starting another perfume tray, right? So I'm going to save that video for later, but right now I just wanted to come on here and highlight a few fragrances I think are going to work wonderfully this spring-summer season. So if you're interested in seeing my suggestions, of course you're more than welcome to continue on watching. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. All right guys, so some of these are fairly new. Some of them I've been eyeing for a while and just never really had the mind frame of being able to afford them. Like I'd be like, oh, that's, that's too much. But coming into my new self, I know I'm worthy and these things are investments and I want to smell like money and I want to smell good. So we're going to start out with one of my newest fragrances. This is Parfums de Marley Delina. So this is such a bold statement floral fragrance, you guys. I originally first saw it when Emrizi was talking about her favorite scent. And if you don't know who Emrizi is, she's like a big time influencer vlogger, vlogger, not vlogger, whatever. But this fragrance is very, very bold and it is very enticing and it's, it's very floral. It's for a woman who knows who she is. It's for a woman who wants to make a statement in the room when she stands out like, hey, I'm here. I'm the star in any room that I stand in. That is exactly what this fragrance embodies. It has notes of rhubarb, which is something that is very rare. You're not going to find like a mainstream fragrance that has rhubarb in it. And I think that's really what sets it apart and probably is what makes it so expensive because baby, she is over $300. So the rhubarb, lychee, bergamot, you can definitely smell the bergamot, Turkish rose, peony, vanilla, cashmerian, which I never smelled cashmerian either in anything else I've ever smelled, musk, and velveteer. Very, very floral, very musky, but very bold. This can be used throughout the day or at night. If you want to be remembered, you should definitely pick this one up. So my second fragrance, I feel like this would be geared more towards the daytime. This is Miss Dior. This is the absolutely blooming one. There is a bunch of different Miss Dior fragrances and I find my favorites would have to be the absolutely blooming. The first time I smelled it in Sephora, I was just taken aback. It was so beautiful. It's a light, sweet floral fragrance. Now this has red berry accord. That's where you're getting that sweetness from, y'all. It smells so, so good. Um, it has notes of grass, rose. I have all my notes written down grass rose absolute and peony accord peony smells beautiful it's a pretty little flower and it, it just really adds to that sweet berry scent so it's like a nice it's a nice sweet floral fragrance with just a bit of the undertone of a white musk so if you're looking for a really good daytime spring summer fragrance and you know it's very welcoming you should definitely get the absolutely blooming by miss dior so for my third suggestion this is the cult favorite baccarat Rouge 540. Now this is a statement. If you want to smell like money, you want to smell like money, you want to smell like money, get this. This, you spray this on you, you're going to smell like it all day. It does not wear off. I don't know if it's like some type of an oil base, but this does not wear off. This is $300 and I do understand why it's $300. There is a couple of dupes like the Ariana Grande, her, um, what is it cloud that does smell like it but it it wears off it wears off and it smells different throughout the day this is a consistent money like smelling fragrance okay so the key notes in this bad boy is jasmine saffron cedarwood and ambergris whatever these are they all smell absolutely amazing you can definitely definitely smell the cedarwood that really is a signature note that just ties everything together and just helps it to stand out again this fragrance you spray it on once you're gonna smell like it all day it really is worth the investment i got this one i want to say maybe i got this at the beginning of 2021 it was my first fragrance that i ever purchased that was over 300 dollars, and i haven't been let down i feel like this is a fragrance for all year round you could definitely make this your staple scent if you want to smell like money and attract wealth be that that big 
you know what I'm saying? You should definitely get this. So yeah, this is an awesome and amazing scent and I'm pretty sure no one can say that they don't like it. So you're not going to go wrong with Baccarat. But... All right, so next this is going to be another floral fragrance, but this is just rose. This is the brand new Dolce & Gabbana Rose Edu Toilette. This is about $80 and now most rose scents I'm getting old lady, I'm getting nursing home, but this one really wraps the rose into its own modern day fresh scent. It smells really good. Of course it smells like rose, of course it smells like rose, but it also is a fruity floral. So some of the notes that are in this is red currant, really, really sweet and good, mandarin essential oil, green apple, the middle notes, a rose absolute, a super essence, white peach magnolia, and then the base is a musk and like a sandalwood and white woods. It's very well wrapped. It does have multiple layers and throughout the day it does smell different, but I really, really like that smell. It's a very fresh rose scent that's not giving grandma and it's it's fresh and brand new on the market this year, uh, this spring. So you guys, if you haven't got a chance to go and smell it, go ahead. It's at Ulta and it's at Sephora. So next, I feel like everyone talks about this, but everyone probably gives a different description than what it actually smells like. It's the Tom Ford Bitter Peach, y'all. It's the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Baby, when I first smelled this, just without spraying it, it does not smell good. So I took the cap off in Sephora and I smelled it. I was like, oh no, what is what is the hype about this? It does not smell like peach. It's giving, ugh, right? So then I finally went back and I just, I was on a, a fragrance date with myself just really trying to smell some things to bring into my life you know because I get married to one perfume and then I don't use another one so I went and I re-smelled it and I sprayed it on my wrist there is so many layers to this and yes you do smell the peach but it's not a sweet peach it is a bitter peach but it does smell good some of the notes that this this perfume contains peach of course blood orange oil Davana oil Patchouli, you can definitely, definitely, definitely smell the patchouli in this, okay? Um, but it is a fruity, floral, kind of peachy fragrance. Like, everybody, if they know, if they've ever smelled it, they're gonna know what you have on and they're not going to forget you. It's a very bold statement fragrance as well. You fall in love with it as it does its thing on your body and, and um, you know, as your pheromones play into it, it just smells very, very good. It's a very sensual scent that no one is going to forget. You could wear this throughout the day, but I do feel like Bitter Peach is geared towards like brunch. If you're going out somewhere, it's very fancy. Nightlife maybe. If someone gives you a hug, they're not going to forget what you have on. It's a very, very unique scent. So another fragrance I know is wonderful for spring and summer is the YSL Monpre. YSL has a bunch of different fragrances. I just feel like this is my favorite one by YSL. It is exemplary. It smells so good. Um, it's very sweet. It has red berries, white musk, and detura flowers. So very unique, very sweet, a little floral, but no one is going to forget what you have on. They're going to ask what you have on. I get compliments on this all the time, you guys. This is such a sweet, sweet scent. So this screams beach. This screams summer. This, for me, really does scream summer. Not so much spring. I feel like spring is like floral, but this is beach. Go out, good time, good vibes. I first smelled this like two years ago when I first got the shimmering oil and the scent was this and I've never smelled anything like this. I was smelling so good in Hawaii. Y'all, I was like, this smells so good. I was like actually trying to use the body shimmer oil as a fragrance just because I love the way the Soleil Blanc smelled. I was like, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. So this has, it's a warm and sweet. This is a gourmand. So it's warm and spicy. It has Lang Lang, you can definitely smell that in there. Cardamom. Coco de Mer. It's very unique. It's very pricey, but it is worth it. I'm telling y'all, if you want to smell like a, a good time and memories, for Pete's sake, go ahead and pick this up. So last but not least, this is my suggestion for a nighttime fragrance for summer. This is actually the KKW and Kindle collaboration. This is a very unique, very, very good smelling perfume. I was taken aback, y'all. It's just so sexy. It's such a sexy scent. It's fresh. Oh, it smells so good. It has uh, citrus, white nectar, peach, marine cord, air blossom, amber woods, musk, and vanilla. Y'all, this is everything. This is like, 
I'm going out and I'm going out at night and I want to smell good. I want people to remember me. I want, I, this is like festival. It's giving festival. You know what I mean? It's giving out and about happy, good, good time vibes. It's a very unique scent, but it really smells really good. But I do feel like this is a more sultry nighttime type fragrance, but KKW and Kindle did their thing. This is pretty much the only one I like from the collection that really, really smells good. All right, crew, so those are my suggestions for spring, summer fragrances 2021. Our masks are coming off, social distancing laws are, you know, disappearing very quick, so we don't want y'all out here not smelling your best. And these suggestions, if you don't agree with all of them, I'm sure you can find something in here that will work for your taste. So if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Stay around while you're here at the end of the video. Clearly you like me. You already like something that I got going on here. I got a bunch of videos, so hit that red button, hit the bell. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Leave me a comment down below if you have any suggestions or if you like to see me bring any other fragrances on here to review. And I'll see y'all here in my next video.